All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of my Empire Never Give Up series, and this time we're fighting Lizard Man. And、uh, this battle was recorded live as well. So if you want to see some live footage with commentary,、uh, just hop over to the Empire Madness、uh, videos, and、uh, you can find this game. So let's jump into my opponent's army. He's got two Kamenian Skinks Vanguard deployed here, a Feral Code One unit, and a. Code one spear riders, and、uh, the front line consists of、uh, two Soros warriors with shields, and then he also has two Soros warriors with spears on each flank, two temple guards. So he's got six very decent、uh, infantry units, and then he's got a reunification crystal, and also Lord Master Mondi. I'm gonna stack it on with.、Uh, let's see what did he bring. That's a lot of stuff actually. All right, I'm gonna have trouble clicking on stuff. There you go. So the ruination of cities, ruination of cities. Anyways,、uh, banishment. These are two nukes abilities, and then he's got shield of the old ones, apotheosis. Apotheosis, apotheosis,、um, harmonic convergence,、um, net of amantak, cold-blooded, and the sunburst stand standard of hex or whatever. So this is basically a AOE buff.、Um, it's quite decent actually. And then greater arcane conduit, and、uh, rolling skies. So he paired Master Mandi with a lot of spells. All right, that's pretty much all his army. Now let's hop over to my army. The Lord in command is a general of the empire with a bang, a charmed shield, a stand your ground, and foe seeker. I used to like naked、uh, Jen, but、uh, I feel like in the current meta you actually need、uh, stand your ground on your Jen to provide some combat abilities.、Um, because Griffin used to just repair everything, but right now they pretty much lose any duel, so you you need everything you have to make your Griffins actually do something. And、uh, I have two, actually. Two Rex Guards, one Demi Griffs helps, two Outriders, and、uh, I have six Spearmen. I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, and、uh, five of them. Four of them were rank three, and、uh, two of them at rank four. I have a Silver Bullets. I have a Witch Hunter with a.、Uh, Hold on. Okay, acquisition.、Um, Opal emulate. Skull of Katam, and slippery. And then I have a knight with a on horse with a net and a power stone. And that's pretty much it. All right. Let's see how this plays out. So first thing first. Um. I'm just pushing forward with my outriders, trying to just skirmish a little bit、um, with those、uh, with those infantry.、Uh, my opponent actually brought a very heavy、uh, infantry list. He's got six of the very good、uh, infantries, and these are all with shield except、uh, temple guards. And then my opponent is quickly just、uh, pulling back those、uh, Kamenian skins to just、uh, zoom my outriders out, pretty much. And at the same time, he's pushing forward with all infantries. 
I would say I really like this list. This is definitely uh, a very solid Lizardman list against Empire. Because uh, Lizardman infantry in this current meta is just too good. And Empire pretty much, uh, Empire infantry pretty much has no chance. So this is also the reason why I just completely ditched infantry department. I pretty much went all spears just as folder units. And at the same time, I'm pushing with my Rex Guards and uh, my Demis, trying to get a just get a charge off onto those uh, infantry. And uh, there's a overcasted net. There's actually just a net landed on my Demi helps. And then my dummy helps are just getting raped by uh, Temple Guards, Revivification Crystal, Lord Master Mundi, and a Sorceress. So pretty much there's no coming back. <laughs> and uh, as you can see here, my aura is actually engaged with those uh, Sorceress Spears with shields. Uh, I would say this is definitely a very sloppy uh, macro game I played because uh, my damage got caught in a net I just went full panic mode and uh, completely forget this part at the same time I I think I pushed out with my other remaining Rex guard and also I'm pushing in with this lots of Rex guard trying to get onto those uh, chameleon skins at the same time, I let my lord here as well, just to do some charge damage onto the Soros Warriors. But then I think I'm just gonna quickly pull my lord out. And uh, I'm moving forward with my uh, hand gunners, trying to dodge the ruination of the city. At the same time, I finally realized that, okay, uh, this is such a bad, bad macro. So I finally realized that, and uh, it's a bit too late because, as you can see, this uh, outrider unit already got pretty much uh, routed already. At the same time, Lord Master Mundi actually got into melee with my silver bullets, which is uh, very bad as well. I think I already casted one acquisition onto Lord Master, uh, Master Mundi already. As you can see, his health is actually dropping to. Uh, half already at the same time um, he casted another net but uh, didn't oh this is actually an overcasted net um, from my night wizard onto the master mundi and then I'm just trying to uh, kill him with a uh, witch hunter silver bullets and uh, outriders and uh, here my Rex Gods and General is uh, actually fighting Code 1 Spear Riders and uh, two Chameleon Skinks. This one actually got routed by my Jen and also the Feral Code ones. And there's a big banishment casted by um, Lord Master Mundi as well. And uh, I'm pushing in my infantry. I pushed this spears into Master Mundi, I pushed my uh, Sigma Sons to the suicide then and um, into Temple Guts. And right now um, I'm putting I'm pinning Silver Bullets this way and also trying to keep uh, Outriders firing at the most Lord Master Mundi as well. And uh, these two spearmen unit actually uh, wrap around into those uh, back nine as well. And uh, this one gonna support uh, Rex Guard to fight the Code 1 spear riders. And as you can see, Empire Infantry just does not stack up at all against these. Like, Lizards barely lost any models and uh, they're just cutting through my infantry line like cutting through it butter pretty much. Uh, so right now I'm winning at the back nine for sure. I have two units of infantry, two units of uh, calf and uh, gen and also 
Rex got caught those skinks as well. And here I'm just keep firing at the Lord Master Mundi. And there's a, another acquisition cast down here as well, but he's just very tanky. But I sneaked a outrider unit all the way from here to here. And uh, they actually catch <laughs> Lord Master Mundi and uh, it's a it's definitely a very good move as well. At the same time, I'm pushing in with this lot of uh, outriders just trying to kill Lord Master Mundi once and for all. Witch Hunter is still firing into him as well. And uh, I believe he's gonna die soon. There you go, he's dead. And uh, right now, the battlefield actually is pretty scattered. Okay, let's see the overview. So we have a Soros Warrior Spears unit chasing my spearmen, and uh, Soros Warriors with shield chasing my silver bullets. I have this Soros Warriors with shield is trying to kill Witch Hunter, but uh, they're getting peppered down a little bit by my outriders. I have one, two, uh, very dead uh, spearmen unit, and a very dead demi grief help unit here. And uh, Sigma Sons, despite the fact they are dying rapidly, but they're still, because they're unbreakable, so they are fighting the main blob here. Consists of a uh, revivification crystal and two temple guards. That's pretty much a very bad way to die, actually. I really feel the pain, feel the pain, and they failed. And here, um, my rank 4 spearman is fighting source warrior spears and it's not gonna be a favorite matchup as well they're gonna pretty much just die but at the back line it's looking a little bit better for empire as uh, rex gods even though they are pretty dead but they are chasing those chameleon skinks and uh, pharaoh got ones out pretty much just out escort them outside the map and they have a half health uh, general of the empire here have two very healthy spearsmen unit here and uh, let's see what's gonna happen next so at this moment I decided that I have to save uh, save my silver bullets so I'm trying to wrap around with my night wither and also trying to use this uh, rex guard to shoot them and here somehow they actually stopped and turned their back against my silver bullets so I got like a couple of free shots at them. I believe there will be another shot coming in. There you go, another volley. And then they got rampaged and they just keep chasing my silver bullets. Yeah, here comes the Demi, here comes the Jen. And our riders still just uh, killing them. At the same time, these two units of spears are about to get caught by the main blob of our uh, lizards. So we managed to route these Soros Warriors with shield and uh, those uh, Cold One Spear Riders actually decided to come back and they want to, they want more fight. And at this time it's pretty much just uh, him chasing these two spears, I'm chasing that Soros Warriors unit. And uh, this Rex Guard chasing Chameleon Skins. But the thing about Chameleon Skinks is uh, they can actually just kill my Rex Guard to death. As you can see here, they are faster than my calf. So, and uh, you can see this is not really a far distance, but my calf just refused to charge. This is currently a huge issue towards the skirmishes, especially the poison skirmishes. They can just uh, very effectively uh, cage your calf to death because you just start uh, slowly running towards them and never get the charge off and meanwhile getting shot to pieces but uh, don't worry too much because I have another unit coming to just uh, kill them once and for all at the same time I'm sending in my here I'm sending in my orders to just trying to pepper down that uh, revivification crystal And this unit is peppered down those uh, Cold One Spear Riders as well. 
and the uh, empire forces are slowly reforming and uh, those communities actually got completely shattered by two units of my Rex Guards and uh, at this moment my opponent actually decided to corner camp inside these woods as you can see on the map, I have three range units, so it is a courtesy for full melee uh, army to actually just attack. And especially he has like one, two, three, four, five pretty healthy infantry units. There's no reason why he's retreating into the woods. Like I would say, this is a very, very bad um, manner on on the ladder. If you are if you are just starting to play this game, uh, please don't do this. This is very, um, very bad behavior. So we're just gonna fast forward a little bit, because uh, right now it's just him uh, camping in the woods and me just trying to get everything in position. And uh, I'm just trying to use my gen and uh, my outriders to try to get some shots off, but uh, seems like it's not gonna happen. And then I finally decided to cast a net until then. And I charge my gen into the revivification crystal. Right here. I think yes, I'm gonna route him straight away. Together with the, those uh cut one spear riders. At the same time he's uh advancing a little bit with his uh, troops and then he's quickly putting them back again. <laughs> Cause uh, my silver bullets is just gonna still has uh, half ammo, but because he's camping in the woods, uh, at the same time these two units are actually getting run outside the map. But uh, he's camping in the woods, as you can see. I'm targeting this uh, temple guards, and my silver bullets are actually barely uh, doing any damage to them. So it's really kind of bad. And at the moment, I'm just really frustrated by this kind of behavior. Because I'm the one with range, there's pretty much no reason for me to just uh, go into this woods and uh, just fight them inside the woods, right? But anyways, as... Uh, I always do on the ladder. Uh, I never cheese, by the way, and I uh, never draw kite. I never camp a uh, corner like this. And I hate people doing this. So, you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna attack you inside the woods. So, I'm pu pushing two spears straight away, trying to engage those two temple guards. And then let my general here inside the Soros Warriors and uh, used all my calf, remaining calf, into them together with the Witch Hunter as well. And I uh, popped Witch Hunter ability and Lord ability as well. But it seems like the Soros Warriors with shields are just very, very tough to deal with. They are, they are just, in my opinion, the most overpowered infantry in this game at the moment because uh, pretty much nothing beats the value of a Soros War unit. At the same time, I'm engaging my Night Wither together with my Demi Helps into those uh, Soros Warriors with Spears and uh, it's, it's pretty much not gonna end well for me as well. So yeah, uh, right now I'm fighting a battle that I just can't win. So if I stay here, keep fighting him, I'm just gonna lose straight away. So, you know what? At this time, I decided to uh, actually pull back a little bit, cause uh, I really need to fight them outside the outside the woods, cause uh, my calves, my general of the empire, actually are uh, considered large units, and uh, they actually has a significantly um, decrease of uh, the melee stats inside the forest. So I need to uh, somehow 
as you can see this unit actually got rampaged so this unit is definitely gonna uh, follow my troops outside the woods so I just need to just basically bait them out and uh, trying to take them one by one And then I decided to charge into melee with my aura this but uh, it's a very bad decision as well. So right now I lost my demi helps, I lost both of my rex guards. And I popped my witch hunter ability together with the lord trying to do as much damage as I can towards those uh, swords with, with shields. As you can see my lord is actually getting beat down by, by then as well. So which is not good. And uh, this source war is uh, actually rampaged again. So, so uh, I'm just trying to use my handgunners and uh, together with the spears to take them out, pretty much. So at the moment, uh, it's looking really green for Empire. I have a, I have two almost dead all right the unit i have a very dead spearsman i have another spearsman just got routed so all i have left is a very dead uh, general general of the empire i have a uh, rather healthy night wizard i have a very healthy witch hunter and i have a healthy witch silver bullets handgunners with pretty much no ammo left so here i land my lord inside those uh Soros Warriors with shields and just trying to get rid of them and uh, my handguns are now targeting those temple cards with whatever ammo they have left and then I decided to charge Black Wither into this group as well and finally route these uh, Soros Warriors with spears and uh, meanwhile this blob is winning towards uh, those Soros Warriors I'm just slowly retreating um, my troops into a better position so those units gonna get route outside the map which is uh, which is good for me and then I charging with my witch hunter inside this blob together uh, with the handgunners shooting at them I pop the both damage negation abilities onto my uh, witch hunter as well and then I'm using my Lord just quickly come here to support this fight. At the same time, I'm just trying to uh, kite uh, those two units with my Knight Wither and my Spearsman. So I managed to route those Temple God Guards, which is good. And then I'm charging back in with uh, my Witch Hunter together with my General of the Empire, which. Uh, he just popped Charmed Shield as well. I managed to route that Source Wars unit. And then I'm using my Light with it to just uh, trying to escort those Temple Guards outside the map. Meanwhile, using this block to chase those uh, Source Warriors with shields. And these two units decided to come back and uh, smash my Spearsman. And my spearsmen just get uh, pretty much smashed straight away. And here, my silver bullets are completely out, out of ammo. Uh, right now, I think it's about. It's almost uh, come to the final reckoning. So I still has a. The witch hunter still has a little bit of ammo left. Just trying to use up his ammo, trying to kill as many uh, skinks as he can. I'm pretty sure witch hunter can't really fire backwards. Yeah, he can't. Even though he has a uh, shoot while moving, but he can't shoot backwards. Alright, everything's in position and uh, I'm engaging with my spears and also I cast a, a net extended uh, duration effect and I pop both damage negation abilities on witch hunter and I net my lord 
and Manlu is gonna pop uh, stand your ground and a charm shield as well. So pretty much I pop everything. As you can see uh, here, I managed to rub those uh, temple guards straight away. I even cast an accusation until then as well. So that was a very good tarot bump. And then Silver Bullets are charging into the rear. And I pull my lord out and I'm gonna do another charge. And finally, Empire actually survived today and uh, managed to beat the lizards. This this is not easy. This is definitely not easy. What a game. As you can see both temple guards killed like 150 units and also pretty much all Soros warriors except this one performed extremely well. I was able to take down um, Lord Mastermind the pretty early into the game but look at how close this game actually came down to. And uh, he did a very good job uh, by letting my demi helps and just uh, completely get rid of them straight away. Also he did a very good job and um, camping in the woods, wasting all my uh, silver bullets ammo. But uh, let's check my side. Actually, my lord and uh, witch hunted carried this game so so hard. Also, Rex guards, even though they got sh pretty much shoot to uh, pieces by those chameleon skinks, but they actually managed to uh, route them. And uh, my spears did the job. They just uh, they just there to die, and uh, they did exactly that. Sigma Sons fought uh, valiantly and they died uh, They fought until the last man standing against the revivification crystal and two temple guards so they fight pretty valiantly and my silver bullets actually did a very good job despite the fact they pretty much uh, wasting a lot of ammo shooting inside the woods at the end but uh, all to all I think uh, um, I did what I can and I was very sloppy with my macro I wasted my demi helps I wasted one of my outriders very early in into the game but still um, I was quite happy that I can actually pull this off and manage to win this game and uh, I think that's it uh, for this video so as always if you guys enjoy my contents please consider to subscribe i would greatly appreciate that and uh as always i will come back with more awesome videos and for now oracle boss is out